So we're going to make it a bit easier with a game of top trumps. Here's my opponent, the Stig. It's just like normal top trumps, except all of Stiggy's cards are the BMW and all of mine are the Mercedes. Ready? OK, TV screens. Mercedes has TV in the front. BMW, I know the answer to this. It's got two, isn't it? Front and rear, so you win that pair. Climate control, Mercedes two zone. And the BMW we know has got four zone climate control, so you win that pair. It's not difficult. Right, seat massage system, Mercedes front and rear seat massage. And the BMW massage seat only in the front, so I win that pair. Right, BHP. OK, that's not working. So let's go back to the traditional Philistine top gear method. A drag race. I went in the Mercedes with Stig at the wheel. I think I'll have firm massage for this. The BMW quickly took the lead and stayed there to the end. That made Stig so angry, he went home. So, the S-Class, when you drive it, you realise it's got much more of a split personality than the BMW. On the one hand, it has lots of very civilising features. It has active body control, and it's so clever it can detect a crosswind and compensate for it. It even has a drowsiness sensor to prevent you from nodding off. But put your foot down and suddenly it erupts with typical AMG volcanic storm and fury. And here's something that really baffles me. On the dashboard, I have a race timer that allows you to record your lap times. But why? I've been in the 911 GT3, yes. But who's that for? Sir Alan Sugar on a track day? And that's the problem with the Mercedes. It has a strangely confused personality. And for that reason, Mercedes S63 AMG, you're fired.